It's been two years since I built the tray for that ute and it worked out so well and I'm pleased with it that I'm gonna build a tray for that ute. Um, that's the work ute. That's our good town ute, so that one's got the canopy on it still. But I really want to be more organised with all my tools and parts during harvest and cropping. And the tub really doesn't leave enough space for doing that. So I'm going to build another tray. On this side, I'm going to put a big TC Boxes toolbox on the side of it, putting stuff like oil, coolant and petrol for running augers and stuff, um, just for all the maintenance that you need to do during cropping and harvest um, and then on the other side my main tool toolbox for the ute will go up there um, and then straps will go in a drawer underneath just to try and organize it a bit better so we're getting pretty late in the year not a lot of time left i'm hoping i between building the tray and juggling the last of the spraying and the spreading, I should be able to get it done in two weeks. But if I say it's gonna take two weeks, it'll probably blow out to four weeks, which I really don't have the time for, because I gotta start getting ready for harvest. We're about two months out from harvest starting. Two, two and a half months. Yeah, that's where we're up to. So, Guess if I don't start, I'll never get it finished. I've still got all the plans from the last tray and I'm going to copy all of that pretty much except for the headboard is going to be slightly different because this headboard was designed around the canopy and the new headboard is going to be designed around the TC toolbox so that angle there is going to change. Other than that I'm hoping everything will be the same, the lights are all identical, I'm going to build the drawer pretty much the same. That's the plans for the new drawer. That hopefully is getting all pressed up at our local steel supplier at the moment. And early next week, I'll be able to pick that up and get it all welded together. So just got, that's the exterior of the drawer on the back of the exterior of the drawer. That's the cap that goes over the top of that to get your, ca um, your cavity to slide the drawer into. And that's the back of your drawer, that's the front of the drawer. So they just get welded on either end. Run some rails along, put some rollers in, and should be right. Should be easy, but just to get the alignment right takes a bit of time. Yeah, like last time was just, I nearly spent just as long on the little drawer as I did on the rest of the tray. So hopefully now I know what I'm doing, I'll be able to do it a little bit quicker. We're starting with two 50 by 50 by two mil lengths of RHS, four 25 by 50 by two mil RHS. So the 50 by 50 will do the headboard and the rear of the tray, and I think the front of the tray this time. I did 25 by 50 on the front of the tray last time, and it didn't really carry the front of the checker plate that I was a bit disappointed about. The 25 by 50 does either side of the tray and all the bearers um, for the checker plate as well. The 40 by 40 by two just gets used for going around the tail lights to protect them and just weld a 1.2 mil sheet on the back of that to mount the um, the tail lights into. Um, then a piece of 25mm OD 
tubing, that'll be the, my rope rail, tying everything down. Um, 100 by 6 mil flat, I've got a full length of that, but I only need like six or seven hundred mil just to do do the finishings along the side of the tray at the front and back and then 50 by two mil flat there um that right that goes down the edge of the tray to cap off all your bits of rhs i've got a length and a half of that i think should only be one length at the most i'll need for that so i've got heaps there I think that's everything. I still don't have the checker plate. I wanted to leave that till the tray was all built just in case I'd, something was a little bit cockeyed and had to cut the checker plate slightly different to suit a stuff up. Um, so I'll just leave that and get it cut to suit. Fingers crossed I don't make any stuff ups. That's pretty much all the RHS cut now, except for the headboard and the lower bearers and the number plate, the number plate lights, the um, tail lights. Um, so now I'm just gonna grind all them up and then I can start putting it together and welding. night um sorry for looking away from the camera every time i talk but oh i got all the main bearers damn it i got all the main bearers welded in last night those things this morning just cutting those little jiggers that'll cap them off like that been a bit of a trial and error getting the angle right and getting the drop saw set up for it. Um, but I've got it sorted now, so now I've just got to measure and cut. So that's just a bit of 50 by 3 flat. I think it's about 30 degree angle, but I didn't measure the angles. I just played around drawing on it and cut a couple until I got the, what I wanted. I probably could have worked it all out with a tractor and 
measuring tape and I probably still would have cut them wrong. And so this was easiest. Radio of Got all these little jiggers cut, sorted. The RHS that runs that way, cut. Little bolt, bolt down to the chassis of the ute. This is the end cap for back here. Anyway, it still needs to get cut to be welded on the back. Got two of them. This will be the end cap for the front. So that's got a cap over the 50 by 50, so I'll have to cut it, measure it up and cut it. But yeah, just getting bits and pieces sorted, then I'll start welding if I'm not spraying. Keep us going most of the morning. Run the, the two chassis, all the things that bolt onto the chassis rails. Do you call them joists? I don't know. Anyway, they welded the tray, then the mounts welded them, and then the mounts bolted the chassis. Um, they have to be welded on. Got to weld on all the end caps. Then. The rope rail's got to be welded on. They're all cut. I think that's it for the welding after that. Anyway, lots of welds to do, so I better get into it. that on wrong. Oh, at least I didn't hold that bit. So now I've got to cut there and cut there and knock it off. Oh, and that one's welded over there too. Ah! So it looks like that. It's meant to look like that. Stupid. Got it off, doesn't look the prettiest, but jam it back on, welded on right, and it should grind up okay. Like I love sitting on the grinder for days. Now it's sorted, back to the welding.